hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is sponsored by line q hair i'm going to be doing my makeup first and then we're going to jump straight into the video so i'm going to be using my revlon rose glow hydrating primer and the reason why i'm using this primer today is because my skin has been breaking a lot and also i felt like my skin was actually dry so i don't want to use like a matte primer i wanted my skin to be hydrated so that i can actually create like a beautiful base for my foundation i'm going to apply this um, primer onto my skin and making sure that all my pores are actually not exposed to anything because i am super skeptical of my skin right now i'm going to take my yardly stay far foundation in the shade d1c i'm going to apply like four pumps and then i'm going to apply this using my beauty blender and also one thing i can say about this foundation is the fact that it actually transfers it does transfer you guys um if you really don't like foundations that transfer i just suggest that you don't buy it you don't really buy it because it does really transfer especially on my nose and also i used it on one of my clients and i realized it does like transfer and i didn't like that about it so now i'm just applying it and also i'm going to be applying my wet and wild concealer in the shade warm deep or warm 10 or something like that i'm going to link everything i use on this video on my description box i'm going to go with it on the bridge of my nose my forehead on my cupid's bow my chin where i feel like i need to like um highlight i'm going to be using my candid concealer and then i'm going to apply this just below where i applied the wet and wild concealer and also i realized that i actually applied too much concealer on this video but i'm not really worried about that but if you're like still like a beginner i just um like don't use too much concealer because you going to like fail to blend it out um so i'm just going to like let the concealer under my eyes to actually dry a bit and then i'm going to start and just blend out the parts where i feel like i do not need them to dry so i'm just going to be using the beauty blender i used to blend out my foundation and making sure that i blend out everything And guys if you're using this foundation um, make sure that um, you do not put too much pressure when you are blending out your concealer because it, that's the part where it actually transfers you do not have to put too much pressure when applying the second product I'm going to take the Julius Place Zulu palette and that brown shade I'm going to use it as my contour powder because I don't really like use contour cream so I'm just going to be applying this where I feel like I need to contour and also I love this because it gives me that um, bronzy look. That's one thing I like about it and also it does not um, really like make my skin dry. It actually gives me like a dewy finish I can say. And I'm going to start and um, blend out my under eyes now that I've done everything. So um, the reason why I'm actually waiting for the concealer under my eyes to actually dry is because um, I feel like my under eyes are the ones that actually need more concealer. So I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Press Powder and I'm going to be using this contour brush from Modern Dolls. I believe this is a contour brush. I'm going to be making sure that I do my nose or making sure my nose is pointy and all that. I'm going to go in with my Sacha Buttercup setting powder. If you're wondering where I got the setting powder, I always get questions about that. And I always do, guys, tell you if I post about it, I actually, like, mention where I got it. And I feel like I get this, que this question or this question each and every time. So I got the setting powder from Modern Dolls. If you're wondering where um, I got it, I'm just going to, like, link it down on the description box for you guys. Um... 
I love the setting powder. I feel like I've been using the setting powder ever since I bought it. And I bought this thing like last year, June, and I'm still loving it. I've never really been in love with in love with any other powder except for this one. I'm going to take my beauty blender. I love this beauty blender because um it gives me what I actually want. If I want a straight line, it it gives me what it gives me actually what I want. So I'm going to be using this beauty blender just to making just to make sure that the um the contour or whatever is just straight and also reversing my contour using this beauty blender with the setting powder with the same setting powder I used. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palette, the one the shade that I use for my contour and just making sure that I'm applying it on my cheeks because I feel like I am super in love with bronzer and this one has been my favorite. It's not even a bronzer, it's a it's an eyeshadow so I'm just using this um, as my bronzer and then I'm going to start and just remove the excess powder and one thing I shouldn't have done here is that I shouldn't have like um, pushed the powder I should have like made sure that I use the beauty blender to remove the set the setting powder I'm gonna go in with my NYX illuminating powder or highlighter and I'm going to use my real techniques brush which is a setting brush I believe and I'm going to start and apply my highlighter where I feel like I need to highlight and also one thing I realized here is that I shouldn't have applied the highlighter just on my on my cheeks that's one thing I actually messed up and also I'm going to be using this brush um, to highlight my the bridge of my nose I'm going to go in with my Mac trial dimension I believe to set my forehead and going in with my Muffy setting spray this setting spray is absolutely amazing it smells amazing i'm gonna go in with my um modern dolls brush and making sure that i blend out the concealer under my brows i love the brushes i got from modern dolls these they gave these to me i can say <laughs> i love these um i'm just making sure everything is just blended like well and i'm going to i'm going to go with my p louise um a base in the shade number 202 I think and then I'm going to start and just um, apply this on my lid case I'm just creating like a nice and smooth base for my eyeshadow um, just making sure that I just tap everything and blending everything so that everything looks seamless and also I do not um, set my base because i feel like this base is already like matte so i don't need to really like set it with anything i'm gonna go in with my favorite eyeshadow from modern dolls i'm gonna go in with this um brownish shade if i'm not mistaken and i'm going to just start and pack it onto my eyelid or onto my crease I'm gonna go in with this orange shade like and then start and blend it with the brown shade I actually used just to give it like a seamless look and you, actually you must try to be patient with the blending thing because you actually want a blended eyeshadow if you don't give it too much time you won't get what you want I'm gonna go in with that shade over there just to set the concealer under my brows um because you do not want that you know that thing under your brows i'm gonna go in with that black shade over there and then i'm going to like apply just a small amount of that black shade because this eyeshadow is absolutely pigmented and you do not want to mess anything up i'm gonna go in with my p louise um shade this is the shade number 05 i think and then i'm going to start and cut my crease and as you guys can see i actually went overboard with this cut crease i didn't actually start from my tear dot i just started like up the tear dot 
um in the end yeah i feel like my eyes are so much rooted that i do not want to create like a small hood a small cut crease i mean so i just want to make sure that my cut crease is actually um popping so that's why i am starting there i'm gonna go in with a um wipe just to make sure that the shades over there do not um disturb the base and making sure that the color does not actually come out of the base i believe and then i'm going to start and like blend out the concealer or i mean the base and then i'm going to go in with that shade and start and pick it onto my cut crease I'm going to start and like blend out the outer corner of my eyes with the same brow shade I use and then I'm going to go in with that orange shade and then I'm going to blend the two shades together. And then I'm going to be applying my eyelashes. And then if you guys are wondering how I apply my eyelashes, I have a video. I think I should actually do a new video on how I apply my lashes because it has changed. So I'm going to be using this Mega Multiplier Mascara from Revlon. I'm going to use this just to make sure that my real lashes are not actually brown. And then i'm going to start and apply my eyelashes because i've already like applied the glue the glue onto my eyelid and then i'm going to be using my essence kajal white liner to line my waterline and then we are now jumping straight into the hair i'm going to be using the serum um just to make sure that my hair is not dry and to make sure that the hair is not dry yeah it's not dry so that i can actually straighten the hair without the hair breaking i'm going to just open a um a line or whatever yeah and then i'm going to be using this hot comb and if you are interested in this hot comb i'm actually running a giveaway on my instagram i'm going to link it down the description box if you guys are interested in this hot comb i am running a giveaway on my instagram now i'm going to start and apply i mean i'm going to start and straighten the hair and straighten this hair i'm using a safeway um straightener i am not really impressed with the straightener i've never really used it i just use it when i need to use it um because it's not really hot so i have to go like three times each and every time um so yeah guys i think this is it so now let's jump straight into the details of the hair this hair is actually a body wave from long q hair they gave me this hair to review and with my honesty i love this hair but the first time i got the hair i was not really impressed with the hair because it was shading a lot a lot i can't like i can't lie to you it was shading guys and i feel like i didn't really go with the instructions they were that were written on the box i didn't go with them because they said that you must actually wash the hair first and then you actually um do whatever with the hair so i didn't do that i just made this hair into a wig and while i was way like doing a wig I realized the hair is shedding and I wasn't really impressed but now that I've already washed the hair everything seems to be smooth everything seems to be going the way that I wanted now I'm so happy with the hair the hair is 18 inch body wave um, with a 16 inch closure um, uh, the density of the hair the hair is full onto my hair as you guys can see it is uh closer to 200 and 200 i think 200 percent density i believe which is like 180 percent so yeah guys this is it for the hair um actually thinking of um changing the color of this hair because i feel like okay i love the i love the black of the hair but i don't really love 
a black black hair onto my like to me like I, I really don't like that i just love like a natural um hair color i think that but i feel like this one is too black but i'm still in love with the hair guys to be honest and i feel like while i'm um straightening the hair the hair is actually stretching I, i'm not sure if you guys can see that but I, that's one thing i actually like about the hair and also i said to you guys that the hair does not shed or it does shed just that it sheds just a bit because you know guys this is hair every hair sheds there's absolutely no hair that does not shed come on guys please <laughs> okay guys to so make sure that my hair is actually flat i'm going to go in with this blasting spray from got to be and just spraying it where i need the hair to be flat so guys i believe this is the end of the video if you like this video please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and also if you would love to see more of these videos please make sure that you do comment down below and, lo and let me know so guys yeah thank you so much long q here for working with me on this video i believe this is the end of the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys on my next video bye